He writes in, Hello, my name is Aiden. I've been a long-time listener of the podcast, and I truly believe the advice and teachings you give work. I'm reaching out because I'm stuck in a rut. About five... Well, this is hilarious. Listen to this, guys. He says, About five months ago, my ex-girlfriend and I broke up. So we had Salah. Four months ago, they broke up. Now this is Aiden. Five months ago, they broke up. He says... This was hard for me because it seemed like everything was working. I never saw a single sign that things were getting bad until one day I noticed she was being distant. Bum, bum, bum. He continues, when I spoke up about this to her, it led to the argument that ended our relationship. I love that girl a lot, Trip. and when the relationship ended, I was devastated. I'm still devastated about it to this day. I see her in everything I do and everywhere I go. And the thought that the best thing that ever happened to me is gone eats me up inside every day. So my question trip is, how do I get over this? I've tried everything I could think of, like going to the gym or talking to new girls, but I still can't get over her. If you have any advice, I'm all ears. Thank you for your time, Trip, and I look forward to a reply. Sincerely, Aiden. Aiden, I don't mean to make light of your situation, so I apologize for any lightness a, a bit ago. But uh, I do understand it is very hard to go through a breakup. And we got to follow in the footsteps of the previous advice that I gave, which is we need to go no contact. I don't know if you did that. So you need to be doing that. So let's do a review of no contact. When you break up with a girl, the girl breaks up with you. Then you need to move on. I really don't truly believe you should be chasing after a girl and trying to get her back. I think it's best if you move on because what do we want to do, guys? We want to be with women who have a high level of interest in us. We don't want to convince them to like us. So you got to go super no contact. No texting, no social media messaging, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, etc., if you can help it, don't see them. I mean, if you can help it, because I don't know if you're in college or whatever, you might see them in class or work. Oh, yeah. Another reason why you shouldn't be dating women at work. Imagine that disaster. You'd have to get a new job. So no contact, full out. I wonder if it's taken you this long to get over her because of that. But the no contact is the watered down advice. Let me give you the rich advice. The advice, the pill that's hard to swallow, but God damn, it's important. There's one line I heard in here that sticks out. And we're going to give you some tough love. So the line here is this. You said, and the thought that the best thing that ever happened to me is gone and eats me up inside every day. The best thing that ever happened to me is gone. Bullshit. Tough love, my friend. Here it is. Bullshit. That's the best thing that's ever happened to you? Your life must suck. Again, I'm coming from a place of love here, but I got to give it to you real, bro. I got to give it to you real. Your life sucks if a woman is the best thing that's ever happened to you. Get out of the romantic comedy fantasy, please, and start living a life for you. I understand women are a big part of our lives. We want companionship. We want sex. We want marriage. We want kids. All the above or some. But a woman should never be the center of your life. Ever, till the day you die, even if you're interested in getting married. I want you to understand this. This is so important. Guys, listen to this. Listen to this. A woman should never be the center of your life. The center of your life should always be you. And you may say, that sounds selfish. That sounds narcissistic. Well, yeah, it can be if you're stepping on other people, but... We're not talking about that. We're not talking about true narcissism. We're talking about self-love and self-esteem and self-worth. Doing the things that you need to do for you. And maybe I'm taking this to a a, a, a big level and, and 
maybe you're just in a lot of pain and people in a lot of pain tend to exaggerate, but I'm going to I'm going to take this at face value. Your quote, best thing that has ever happened to me. I understand you're in a lot of pain, but it's got to be the opposite, dude. She has to regret leaving you. You need to be in a situation where if a girl ever breaks up with you, if a woman ever breaks up with you, divorces you, cheats on you, whatever it may be, breaks your heart, you need to be going, she's an idiot. I'm a catch. I'm the man. My life is awesome and I have so much value to offer and she left me, divorced me, cheated on me, left for another guy. Good luck. Good luck, girl. Good freaking luck. Because you lost something that's so awesome. That's what you should be saying to yourself, by the way. This is not words to say to her. I'm not trying to get you to say this to her in a way to make her feel bad. This is a real truth that I need you to believe inside of your soul. Like I know inside of my soul. And by the way, I had to work up to this. This is not something that I was born with. I'm like you. I needed to figure this out for myself, my own self-worth, self-esteem, all that stuff. I had to figure that out. Where now I've gotten to the point where if my girl, Megan, if she ever left me or for another guy or broke up with me or whatever, I would legit be, yes, of course I'd be hurt. I would be sad. I'm a human being and, and I will be suffering from a loss. But I will still be thinking of, well, her loss because I would rather be with someone who sees my value, who sees how amazing that I am because I truly am that and believe that and have worked up to that. Now, Aiden, you might be on the younger side. I'm just kind of guessing by the way you've written this. So maybe it's going to be time till you build up your value. And you build up to the point where you are a guy who is proud of his life, thinks he's awesome. And again, for you, not for women. I said that earlier. And it might take a little time to get there. That's okay. Men age like a fine wine. We peak in our later years. We're a little bit more physically attractive. We've gathered more resources. We've gotten more uh, higher social status. We've become smarter. We've accomplished big goals. And that stuff takes time. And that might be the case for you. It was for me. Absolutely. I had to work on those things. And I believe you can too. And a lot of guys do too. So Aiden, how do you get over this? Is your question no contact? And I would start to date other women. You said, uh, I've tried everything I could think of, like going to the gym, talking to new girls. You still got to continue doing that. But I need you to look at your, at you from a place of self-worth and understanding that she is the one who got the loss, not you. It's all in the mindset.